Here I have the beginnings of a contact management app and uh, I'm going to show you how to um, create a field to upload a profile picture for a user. Um, but at the moment I have uh, this repeating group here that lists all of my contacts, that's a data type in my app and uh, I have a workflow so that when the name is clicked uh, it goes to a page called profile and it sends the current sales contact um, to that profile. And if I go over to this page, you can see I have the type of content set as contact that allows me to send that data across with the go to page workflow. Um, and uh, if I show you the front end, click on Tony, I just have this fairly dull looking um, profile page for Tony. So let's add in uh, the ability to upload an image and just go through the different ways and options and even pitfalls that people encounter when doing this. Um, so there's my box, upload it, uh, I'm going to make it round. I just put an enormous value in here to ensure that I get a full circle. Uh, and refresh it on my front end. And uh, by clicking on this box, um, no matter what operating system you're using, it will just bring up the default file browser. Um, but you can also drag images straight into this box. Okay, just a random image of an office worker I found on Unsplash, uh, but you get the idea. Now, it looks all right there, but if I refresh the page, you'll see nothing has actually been saved. So a really quick way of doing this without um, having to build in any additional workflows is to use um, auto binding. And auto binding means that if you make a change to an input, it saves it straight away to the database. You don't need a save button, you don't need workflows. So um, I'm gonna turn on auto binding and uh, I need a field uh, in my contact um, in order to store this. So I'll name the field profile image and then it is of type image create. Um, when you're working with auto binding, you have to begin to set up privacy rules um, because you have to specifically enable auto binding. Um, so uh, I'm going to create a privacy rule um, called user and then say uh, if current user is uh, this contacts um, creator. Fairly simple one, um, but also for the purpose of this illustration, I'm just going to allow everyone. Uh, so no matter who the user would be, whoever has contact, uh, it doesn't matter who has created this contact. Uh, I'm just going to set it up for the purpose of this demonstration uh, to work without any privacy rules um, blocking anything from going on. So um, I'll just enable it here as well. But the important bit is that the whichever user is accessing it has access to allow auto binding onto this field profile image. So refresh the page and now if I bring in the image and then if I hit refresh you'll see that it has saved. And using auto binding has got the advantage that I don't have to create a popover, I don't have to uh, create a workflow in order to save this message, I don't need a save button, um, save this image rather, I don't need a save button. Um, and it also means that this isn't just, um, if I show you here, uh, it's still a picture uploader, it's not an image, it's not uh, you know an image box like that which is populated with a dynamic image which means that I can come back to this page at another date and uh, a date in the future and I can click on uh, the image here or I can drag a new image in and it will save it um, directly to the contact Tony. So there's one last thing that I might want to do and that's to go back to my list of users and in this instance I am going to use an image field. Um, put it there and insert current sales uh, profile image. And there we go. We now have an image uh, that is set into the, um, the database entry for Tony that when I go onto the profile, uh, I can freely upload uh, or swap out this image in the future.